Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba' Probably some of the most important advice that we could offer to the Muslim youth of today is to adhere strictly to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and avoid opinions, avoid uh, innovation in the religion, avoid anything that's going to distract you from learning the Quran and learning the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and learning what it really means to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the position of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to beware of taking knowledge from those people who are either number one ignorant or number two people who will lead you astray and lead you astray from what? from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in regards to the Quran a very important and profound statement which we should all internalize the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said خَيْرَكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمُ الْقُرْآنِ وَعَلَّمَهُ that the best of you is those who uh, learn the Quran and teach it خَيْرَكُمْ that the, 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 those are the best of the people the Prophet sallallahu said in another uh, authentic and very important hadith من يرد الله به خيرا يفقه في الدين that whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion the Prophet sallallahu said in another authentic hadith which gives us a prescription for all the trials and tribulations we find in this day and age he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وعليكم بسنتي وسنتا that the Prophet ﷺ said, It is upon you my sunnah, meaning my way, my path, and that of the rightly guided uh, Khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, uh, be pleased with all of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise them all uh, in their station in Jannah to Firdaus and bless us to be amongst them Amin so what we learn from this is we learn the importance of following the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and following the Quran and staying away from those things which will distract us from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم. here are some important benefits of the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, that we should reflect on as youth we need to know the status of the Sunnah and this is taken from Sheikh um, Ahmed bin Atik in his Risala uh, about the, uh, it's called Muqtasar uh, Fil Aqidah or something similar to this, which I have translated some years ago. And what the Sheikh said in the 21st chapter about the status of the Sunnah, he said, number one, that the Sunnah is the revelation just like the Quran is revelation. Number two, the Sunnah expounds the Quran, meaning it, it explains the Quran. Number three, the Sunnah makes clear what is implicit in the Quran, for verily Allah the Almighty commands with prayer and paying the zakat and other acts of worship. And this is in the Quran. However, and the Sunnah makes the details comprehend, uh, comprehensible. So we find the details for how to pray, for how to pay zakat and other acts of worship in the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam. Number four, the Sunnah specifies what is general in the Quran. Allah has already prohibited eating dead animal meat, not meaning in meat that is not slaughtered, and blood. The Sunnah makes exceptions. So how do we learn the details with regards to this? We come, we go to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, which things like dead locusts and sea animals, and uh, from blood and spleen and liver, and those are all mentioned in authentic hadith of the Prophet وسلم. The Sunnah expounds upon the Quran, and this is how we know and understand the Quran, and how we understand the commandments of Allah the Almighty, because the Sunnah, as he mentioned, is the first point that the Sunnah is revelation as the Quran is revelation. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be the people of, uh, from the people of Ahl Sunnah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Nabiya Muhammad.